Today, yes, today, at this very moment, God loves you so much and He sees you and He wants to draw you near to His heart. Stay with me. Don't allow your past to destroy your future. I believe God has a plan for your life and this message will help you. In Jesus' name to get one step closer to your divine destination. The Almighty God wants to draw you near to His heart. And then you may ask, how do I know that? Because the Bible tells us that. If we read in the uh, prophetic book of the Bible, Hosea, over there it, st it says that God loves you so much and He sees you and He wants to draw you near to His heart. It says there in Hosea 11 verse 1, when Israel was a child, I loved him. There you can fill in your own name. I make, for, I make it like, when Dwight was a child, I loved him. God tells me when I was a child, God loved me. And you fill in there your name because the Bible is a personal letter to you. It's not some random words together with some history. No, it was written especially for you. So make it personal. And God says here, I love you. Yes, God really, truly loves you. And as a child, you are at the beginning of your life. Some they have terrible memories what happened. Some children, they know, think they know everything, but you have a lot to learn. And today you can come to God as a child to start all over. Whatever happened, whatever your doubts, you can come to God as a child. And out of Egypt, I called my son. Again, there you fill in your own name. Egypt in the Bible has different, different meanings. When the children of Israel, when they had famine, they went to Egypt. That was a safe place, but they stayed there too long. So this safe place became their prison. They became slaves after some, after some centuries. So if you stay too long in this safe place, you can become a prisoner of this safe house. Some people, they flee in their work, their sports, whatever, isolate yourself, travel all over the world, and you think your problems will vanish like snow or the first sun. But today, God wants to take you out of Egypt. That's why he's telling you here, out of Egypt, I called my son, my daughter, just like he called Jesus out of Egypt to become the Messiah, to start his ministry. In the same way, God wants to call you to draw you out of this darkness, out of this prison that used to be a safe place and to bring closer to where you belong. The Bible tells us over there, the more they called him, the more they went away from them. Sad, but many people have a wrong image of God. They think God will punish you. It's too late. I have to become I don't know, a hermit, someone who is isolated, holy and so, and then people reject God. But God is not like this, and He doesn't want you to be a helpless victim. He wants you to become a hero, a hero in His kingdom. So when God is calling you at this moment, you feel this in your heart, in your belly. Some people feel the calling of God in their belly or in their mind. Don't ignore it. Don't say, no, it's too late for me. No. I don't know God, God wants to meet you today. And there's no excuse to run away from God. We continue in the Bible book of Hosea. I pulled them along with cords of a man, with ropes of love. And I became to them as one who lifts the yoke from their jaws. And I bent down and fed them. With ropes of love, God wants to catch you with ropes of love, not of pressure, of guilt, but with the ropes of love, he wants to draw you near to his heart. And he wants to lift this yoke. A yoke is the burden on a donkey or a cow or an ox. And he wants to lift it and give you his yoke that is soft, that is light. Well, I don't know your situation, but God knows. I don't know how you got there in Egypt in all this trouble, but God, he knows. And today God tells you, I know your name. I know your situation, I know your past, and I know your future. And I want to lift you up, draw you near with cords of love, and carry your burden. It has been too long that you, are, that you are trying to carry this burden all by yourself. Now it's finished. 
trust Jesus. And the Bible tells us that God bent down and fed them. And today, God is bending down. He's coming into your situation. Yes, you don't believe it, but it's true. God is bending down on his knees to come into your situation and to feed you, to help you. Trust God and come today to him. In Jesus' name, amen. At this moment, I want to pray for you. Dear God, I pray for this very person that is listening to my words at this moment. I pray that this lady, this man, this boy, this girl, will hear your words at this moment in his or her heart. And that you will touch you, that God will touch you and draw you near to his heart with cords of love. He will take away your burden, Lord, and I know you will do something marvelous in your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Subscribe, like this video, be blessed and stay blessed.